and welcome back to another Battletech guide. My name is Saiken and today we're going to take a look at the question how to skill my mech warriors efficiently and how to build up a lance from a skill perspective. The mech warriors are just as important as the underlying mechs as they are really making them shine. And since the game itself requires you to hard pick the skills within it, there are a couple of choices that might be more beneficial for you than others. And we're going to go through all of the eight core skills in the game, as well as the advantages and disadvantages. Before we do that, though, I wanted to give you an encouragement and a highlight to join my channel and take a look at the other content. I tend to run strategy games on the highest difficulty, as well as have a few guides that might be of interest for you. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the system of Battletech and its skills. Battletech itself has four skills for each of the Mech Warriors, Gunnery Piloting, Guts and Tactics. Gunnery is an abstraction of the ability to hit from the Mech Warrior. Piloting is an abstraction to deal with melee combat as well as generate evasion blips and deal with stability damage. Guts is an abstraction of the physical health of the pilot, so actual individual health as well as dealing with heat. And finally, Tactics is an abstraction of the ability to focus in on a single location and deal with enemies that you can't see, so that you're indirectly firing at with LRMs, for instance. On top of that, there are, of course, a couple of breakpoints. With breakpoints, uh, I mean you will get certain additional abilities, such as Cold Shot Mastery, these breakpoints mark important minimum requirements that you should strive for early because they will give you a passive bonus. On top of that system, there is the system of eight major skills, four of them in tier one, four of them in tier two. You're allowed to pick two tier one and one tier two skill. Those are permanent picks and as soon as they are locked in, they cannot be changed. So we're going to look at uh, specifically the breakpoints first, and then we're going to take a look at the permanent skills second. Breakpoints are important because it is very rare that you're going to start a career and just go to Gunnery 10, whilst piloting Guts and Tactics are, is still at level two. Typically, that's not an efficient way of doing it because the XP required in order to upgrade the skills will exponentially go up. So in other words, to raise a skill from 9 to 10 takes almost as much as raising it from 1 to 6. So you will get much more out of it, getting all of the skills to a moderate level and then essentially, quote unquote, finalizing them. A few breakpoints or noticeable breakpoints that you should be aware of. Gunnery is pretty straightforward. And the reason why that is because hit chance is incredibly important. So it should be potentially one of the skills that you always want to keep at least at the highest or second highest rank. Piloting has a few interesting breakpoints, um, uh, the one being piloting seven and six, where essentially with six you're getting a, an additional melee defense and seven is a maximum sprint. This one is important because maximum sprint allows you to more easily get evasion blips and evasion blips reduce your chance to be hit. So that is one of the uh, few defensive ones that I would potentially go for. Another interesting and good one is health six, which gives you the second health blip. So with that, you would go to five health which typically is a safe spot to be at because if your side torso explodes, that's normally one health gone. If you're being knocked down, that's a second health gone. And then you do have one additional health kind of as a random hit to the head or whatnot. So if you do have five health, you're not in immediate danger after that scenario to already die. That I find is a sweet spot unless you want to use cockpits. And Lastly, a breakpoint that I would highlight is Tactic 6, where you get the call Shot Mastery. Call Shot Mastery doubles the chance for you to hit a certain direct area with a call Shot, and that's just a fantastic ability. Prior to it, you would see that many of the call Shots are still quite random, and you're just taking the call Shots for the actual hit bonus. But with call Shot Mastery from Tactic 6 onwards, it really starts to shine. 
my recommendation would be besides the first skills on tier one that you want to take go for called uh, shot mastery here try to get that extra health to be safe and try to get to the piloting seven whilst maximizing gunnery to 10 and then you can take whatever else you want really and that'll be the breakpoints which kind of leads us to the actual skills in terms of skills we do have tier one skills and tier two skills like i mentioned tier one skills two of them can be selected tier one skills are multi-shot and you do have sure footing here as the second one bulwark here as the third one and sensor lock as the fourth one now of course the tier one skills cannot be assessed without also assessing the tier two skills so i think we want to maybe look at it the other way around we're starting with the tier two skills and then we're thinking about builds of how to build up the uh, respective characters tier two skills are in the technician portion master technician which basically grants your um, operative a plus one to initiative permanent that is we do have do in the you? guts tree the cool uh, cooled uh, vent which allows you to uh, take a big chunk so 50 extra heat off of a round and then essentially for the next rounds you're generating eight extra heat that um, net net comes to a similar amount but it will give you an immediate boost in terms of piloting ace pilot is the third one in the piloting tree essentially allows the pilot to take shots and then afterwards move normally you need to move first and in gunnery it's breaching shot which will avoid any form of damage reduction and directly damage the enemy however it only works for one weapon so what are good skills and what would I recommend to take? Let's start with my favorite one by far, which is Ace Pilot. Ace Pilot allows a lot of tactical prowess. And the reason why I like Ace Pilot specifically is because it allows you to plan ahead and make sure that you get away with plays that you otherwise couldn't get away. One example of that being the light mechs that can go behind a single mech so that first of all can kind of save their initiative until the very end of the turn knowing farewell that you can take a double turn you would go behind the mech take a shot next round comes around you are the first one to act you take yet another shot and then you're moving away taking the full advantage of both the evasion blips and being able to shoot twice ace pilot enables that um, possibility without ace pilot you would need to um, simply shoot once and be done i typically have two ace pilot uh, pilots in my lance just because for any form of brawlers this is at least for me the go-to skill second skill you. that i would uh, review and that i can imagine uh, taking would be cool and vent the cool and vent skill uh, gives a net net benefit whenever you need that extra heat the cool and vent skill turns out to be incredibly helpful since it is a fixed amount of heat that's being reduced on biomes just like the marsian or a desert biomes where your innate cooling will not work as well i tend to run one cool and vent skilled uh, operative and i try to combine it typically with a heavy laser boat ish type of uh, uh, type of mech warrior and then thirdly the Orders. potentially showing power line Orders. here put uh, the master technician which i can also recommend for any form of scout or any form of fake medium mech and what i mean with that is if you're running a lance where you have a cyclops with the plus one initiative module that allows all of your assault mechs to have plus one initiative and you on top of it, that have the master tactician trait you would be able to go in the th third so three um, initiative category which is typically well ahead of any of the other mechs so if you're into alpha striking that is a really efficient tactic it comes in a combination with sensor locks so 
I tend to have one master technician in there, typically also one that can tank and scout well in with master technician. You do have that edge and can uh, move out and in even before anything else can happen. So my recommendation would be either three ace pilots and one cool vent or two ace pilots, one cool vent and one master technician as a setup. The reason why I don't like breaching shot too much is uh, because we haven't spoken about that skill at all and you are seeing that I have not skilled a single mech warrior into breaching shot. Breaching shot as an idea is a great one because you can bypass essentially a lot of the damage reduction. Now, the problem with breaching shot is it only works for one weapon and one weapon only. You can, theoretically speaking, use a multi-shot and then um, use one weapon onto multiple enemies and each of them will count as a breaching shot. But the moment that you take more than one weapon and shoot at an enemy, that moment essentially will mean that you are losing the advantage of breaching shot. It is a passive ability that that allows you to uh, to ignore those damage reductions. So, at least from my viewpoint, I haven't seen much game utilization of that. If I am forced to decide whether to shoot into a 40% damage reduction and have plenty of other tools or to use a single weapon and then have no damage reduction whatsoever, in 99% of uh, the cases, unless you're overheating or close to overheating, breaching shot really didn't pull its weight. So one of the abilities that I personally were a bit disappointed. Leave a comment down if you have had other experiences with it. So far, I just haven't seen the value in it. Moving on to the tier one ability. And the tier one abilities to a degree are based on the tier two selection. If you go Better. with ace pilot, Naturally, you also need sure footing. If you are going with cooling vent, naturally, you will need to have bulwark. If you go with master technician, naturally, you will need to have sensor lock. Multi shot as a prerequisite for breaching shot is kind of the exception to the rule. So, what am I trying to do? Since I am going in with two ace pilots, those two will have sure footing. Sure footing allows you to have a massive reduction in terms of. Um, stability damage that you're taking and that in itself for me is a valuable asset because typically the mechs that are standing in front with ace piloting are also the ones that will take most of the missile damage and with sure footing you're just increasing the stability massively it just becomes better and better in combination with the second ability bulwark bulwark allows you to always gain an additional 20% damage reduction as soon as you're in the woods, you gain 40 instead of 20%. If you are guarded and covered, i.e. with vigilance, for instance, and in the woods, that will even increase to 80%. Put uh, Marauders 10% flat Lance protection, damage protection in there, and you can get up to 80% damage uh, reduction with Bulwark. Needless to say that this ability in itself is a fantastic ability and with the exception of its quote unquote counter the breaching shot, in all reality, even if the enemy just uses one weapon, that in itself is already a, dam a massive damage reduction. Sensor lock uh, allows you to really lock into enemies that are not in your sight. So it's a great utility tool, goes absolutely fantastic together with long range missiles and multi shot offers for a more experienced and better finishing of mechs when you know that you need just a little bit more damage. And it also is a great tool for effective reduction of blips. So if you're already preparing targets and want to reduce evasion blips for your comrades. Now, how do I do the builds uh, overall and how would I value the tier one abilities? My by far favorite is Bulwark. I tend to have it on almost every single build because the game itself lends, very, very, lends itself very strongly towards an attrition-based game. Having those extra 20% will make a noticeable difference, specifically once you reach a value higher than 50%. With 60% damage reduction, most of the missiles that do 
four points of damage will be rounded down. So instead of four points of damage, they only deal one point of damage. Put that into context, if an LRM 20 would normally hit you for 80-ish points of damage, with that it would only hit you for 20 points of damage. So the Bulwark is actually even better than what is being shown here. The second favorite ability that I do have is Sure Footing. It's also a passive ability and it basically gets rid of the problem of any form of um, stability damage that, that you're having. I like Sensor Lock, but you only need it on one of your mech warriors and i also like multi-shot but you equally only need it at one of your mech warriors so a typical scenario that i would build in terms of lance would be two ace pilots that are exactly skilled as such where you're going with ace pilot sure footing and bulwark maximum protection those together with gyros will make you nigh immune to any form of stability damage and the bulwark comes on top of it standing in the woods you're nigh undefeatable with that and you can shoot twice using the lower um, weight class max with that as well then i splice in standing by. one of the scouts Scout also has Bulwark in terms of uh, still standing uh, and maximizing its effective armor. And then we're getting that plus one Master Technician and the Sensor Lock. And I round it up with a Coolant, Bulwark, Multishot or Multi-Targeting uh, type of build. Uh, this here could either be the LRM boat where I'm trying to uh, hit multiple targets at the same time. And in that case, I would use an LRM boat that is also heavily front loaded with uh, medium lasers on top of it. So quite a hot LRM boat and use coolant aggressively to keep the mech in long-ish range, not completely out of range, but long-ish range so that the lasers and the LRMs can essentially engage in two different um, targets. So the lasers typically are preparing the next targets whilst the LRMs are knocking down the primary target or even finishing the primary target and that's really it that is the setup that i would recommend for a lance well-versed setup and potentially a deep more defensive setup uh, than you are used to when you're looking at other let's plays thank you for your attention if you do have a different opinion leave a comment down below what do you think about skills and how would you build up your lance thanks for watching guys and see you in the next guide bye bye